amusement parks, America's playgrounds. Some even claim to be the happiest places on Earth. But for the now abandoned Atlantic Island Park, the story is quite different. The history of Atlantic Island Park proved both short and tragic. Freak accidents, grotesque killings, and reports of ghostly hauntings and other supernatural phenomena, here are some of the events that forced the most notorious theme park in America to close its doors. The Bumper Car Accident. Many have said that Atlantic Island Park's rides have a life of their own, and that it all started on the 25th of October, 1976, during the installation of the park's famous bumper cars. During transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars to roll onto Francis Dufresne, one of the workers. Dufresne, who was directing the driver, was crushed instantly by the weight of the cars. A tragic accident, some would say, but one key witness would claim otherwise. In the accident report, penned the very same day of the tragic event, it was written that Dexter, the truck driver, had seen someone on the back of the load, undoing the straps. At the very bottom of the accident report, a short comment was made, chalking it all up to superstition. The Chipmunk Killer. It's 1979, a hot summer's day in the middle of July. There are children everywhere, enjoying their ice cream in the scorching sun, while parents cool off on the park benches in the blistering heat. Little did they know, tragedy was about to strike. One of the park's popular attractions this hot summer day was Steve Gardner, dressed up as the park's chipmunk mascot, entertaining kids by carving ice sculptures near the Octatron ride. A local to Solomon Island, Norma Creed, explained in detail what happened next in her witness report. The chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, but then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming. The following moments were pure chaos. What's your emergency? <coughs> You've reached 911. What's your report? <coughs> Ma'am, I need you to remain calm while the officers are on their way. Is there anyone there who can help you? <coughs> the chipmunk! He snapped! He just... Oh my god! Oh my god! Ma'am, who did? there now. Are you okay? Atlantic Island Park was finally closed for good in September 1980. For many of the locals on Solomon Island, the decision was a long time coming.